Welcome to Marquette, Michigan, where the name Black Rocks conjures up thoughts of both incredible craft beer and picturesque cliffs. So Black Rocks is this hidden gem in the UP. The brewmasters here have a creativity and a consistency to their beer that is incredible. The, the hardest part is getting here and getting a chance to get some before it's all gone. <laughs> That's a lot of times you go, oh, I had a beer last night, it was great. You come back the next day, they got five new ones to try from. Yeah, we like to get out on our, what we call Black Rock dates. I like that I can come here with my mom and my dad and my kids. Kind of an extension of home. It feels very homey here. It's wonderful. You're going to meet people here and you're going to exchange stories and you're going to build friendships and it's, that's probably one of the best things about this place. They always seem to have music playing inside and cool bands. And this brewery is the best brewery in the Upper Midwest. I'll put it up against Founders, I'll put it up against Bells. We've traveled to over 60 Michigan breweries. We like to go on beer tours and I mean, Black Rocks, it's like our, it's our favorite. So if you haven't tried Black Rocks, my God, you're missing out. Black Rocks Brewery was started by friends and colleagues, David Manson and Andy Langlois. So, so David, David and I sold drugs together. Legal. Legal drugs. For like seven years, yep, we sold pharmaceuticals. Oh. Probably about four years into it, we're like, this is kind of like corporate America boring. I mentioned I used to brew beer, it'd be really fun to brew beer, and he's like, I like beer, let's do beer. And so we kind of said, all right, let's look into it and let's do it right. And I said, we should do all grain, we should do like the legit kind of the way the big boys do it in my basement. When our corporate said, we're going to have a massive conference call and we're going to have something to talk about. Yeah. And they basically said, you're all probably going to get fired. And we've always said it would be fun to, to go legit, go pro. When they kind of made that call, we're like, this is our opportunity. In 2010, they decided to open Black Rocks, a nano brewery on the first floor of a friend's house. You're a nano brewery if you're able to carry your kettle yeah. at the end of the day and go wash it. So we were, we were doing one barrel systems and we had four one barrel fermenters. And that first night we sold out of beer. Yeah, it was crazy. Bonkers. <laughs> we kind of looked at each other like, whoa, maybe this will work. <laughs> So it would go to six fermenters, and then eight fermenters, and then 10 fermenters, which we're brewing all the time. Maybe make it two or three nights and then we're out. Done. All right, and then you just raise the glass and say, thank you everybody for coming. Once again, you drank us out of beer. Open till empty was awesome, until it wasn't. To meet the ever increasing demands of the pub, David and Andy opened a production facility over three years ago. This expansion also allowed them to begin distributing throughout Michigan and into Wisconsin. The, the vibes at the pub were pretty chill, but it's not all fun and games. You guys get down and dirty and make some serious beer at your production facility. Yeah, I'm the lead production brewer. I've been here the longest. Charles is our other production brewer. We have a great team. Black Rock's whole atmosphere is to have fun and enjoy what we're doing, enjoy our lives. Nobody here takes themselves too seriously, but one thing we really take seriously is the beer. We kind of built the brewery around this old 30 barrel mash ton that we got from a, a big production brewery downstate, Founders. We think of it kind of like a heritage piece of equipment. It's really old, we love it. It's always been making good beer, so we're just kind of trying to keep up the tradition. We're probably on track for about 7,000 barrels this year, which seems huge to us, but we're still kind of a tiny, we're, ti we're a tiny brewery, you know. After checking out their brewing and canning setup, I made my way out to the Black Rocks bus for some samples. What do we got first? The Grand Rapids Cream Ale, one of our year round offerings. So Grand Rapids, is that like Grand Rapids, Michigan? Kind of like an homage to that? Yeah, it's a play off of Grand Rapids, Grand Rabbits. We named it on our way down to the Grand Rapids Beer Fest. Dry hopped cream ale, not your average cream ale, dry hopped. Dry hopped, yes, dry hopped with a... Little lamet, yeah. Mm. Just kind of a nice, um, I don't know, I always get like Fruit Loops citrus almost out of it. Dude, it's, yes. It's like, it's like lawnmower beer plus. This is a great beer. 5.5%? 5.5%. Party all day, party all night. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely perfect. All right, this is Coconut Brown. Coconut Brown. Yes. Not your average brown. No. 
There's 700 pounds of coconut in a 40 barrel batch. That's yeah. unreal. Yeah. Native UP coconut, so it takes a long time to harvest. <laughs> well, I can only imagine. Coconut Brown's a, a beer we've been brewing for a really long time. It was um, originally one of my homebrew recipes, and it's like the only one that's actually survived. There's a lot of love in the beer. There really is, because everybody that is involved is they're excited to share it, not only because the, the, the beer is great, but because they're kind of sharing a little bit of Marquette. And it's perfect, but it's not heavy like a stout or a porter. No. It's a brown and it's light. Mm -hmm. I love it. Thank you. Aloha. Aloha. Eh? Aloha. <laughs> yeah. Time to get a little hoppy. Yep. Yes. 51K. This is the mayor of Flavortown here. I do love the 51K. I'm not really an IPA girl, but um, their 51K is awesome. It's delicious. You know, just your classic good IPA, you know, mid-range, not too big ABVs, but tasty, you can drink it. 51K gives too hard to run for its money. Kind of the perfect IPA. It's got the right balance of hops and bitterness, not super hoppy. This has pretty much became our unofficial official flagship. It's kind of rose to the top as our pretty much most drank beer, I would say. I think I've actually drank my weight in this beer. <laughs> if you figure... Probably more. Oh. Well, it's a great beer. I can see I can see why people love it. I mean, for an IPA, the hops are not overpowering. It's definitely like a well-balanced IPA. Yeah, and I, I wouldn't say quite like Midwestern IPA. There's kind of a good array of well-balanced hops that have a nice dry finish to it. Awesome. Well, thanks for inviting me on your bus and yeah. let me drink some thanks of your guys' beer. Yeah. Cheers. 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 The trip wouldn't be complete if I didn't visit the actual Black Rocks, so Charles and Andy offered to be my guides. I grew up jumping off. He came from Kingsford and went to Northern, and you jumped off. Of course. My kids have all jumped off. I mean, it's just kind of a, a rite of passage. Like, when you're here, you jump off Black Rocks. You jump into the frigid, ice-cold, insanely freezing waters of Lake Superior. And so, for us, it was a a parable for what we were doing. We were jumping into this like in, like endeavor of craft brew. And with that, I couldn't help but be inspired to give it a try myself. Woo! All right! Yeah. <laughs> the water is so cold, it literally takes your breath away. I couldn't even speak after I came up for air. So normally Shannon thanks the breweries and uh, the people for letting her kind of come into their world. Today we're going to thank Shannon and her crew for coming into Black Rocks and our environment and our people. So, cheers! Cheers! cheers.